Hey guys, I'm Emmeline aka Winter Star Cosplay and in this video I'm going to be teaching you all about one of my favorite methods for adding detail to EVA foam for cosplay, 3D puffy paint. This stuff is super cheap and easy to find, it works great on EVA foam, you can use it for a ton of different things and you can get some great results with it for your cosplays and costumes. So first off, what is 3D paint? Also called fabric paint, dimensional fabric paint, or 3D fabric paint, it's essentially a very thick paint that comes in a small bottle and squeezes it out of a nozzle where you can work with it kind of like icing on a sugar cookie. Then after a few hours it dries and you can handle and paint over it without any problem. You can get 3D paint in all sorts of colors, plain black and white, all the colors of the rainbow, metallic, and even glow in the dark. It's a great way to add quick and easy detail to EVA foam, whether for armor, props, or some other cosplay piece. Most recently, I used it for my Foolish cosplay from Dream SMP. I wanted to add some extra detail to the foam armor pieces I made, so I opted to use 3D paint. I added lots of swirly little details all over the armor pieces, let it dry, then primed it with Flex Bond and painted over it with acrylic paint. The results were some super easy details that really helped add a lot to the cosplay. Now that I've talked a bit about what 3D paint is and what you can do with it, where do you get it and how do you use it? First off, you'll need to actually buy some. You can find 3D puffy paint at a ton of different stores like Walmart, Amazon, or pretty much any craft store, and you can get it for really cheap too. Usually a small bottle only costs a dollar or two, and even a small bottle like that will take you a long way with your cosplay. To actually use it, all you have to do is shake the bottle a bit with the lid on to get the paint down to the nozzle. Then you just squeeze the bottle and the 3D paint comes out. I recommend testing it out on a scrap piece of foam before using it on your actual build for you can get a feel for how it works and what you want your details to look like. Keep in mind that most 3D puffy paint takes around 4 hours or so to dry, so keep this in mind when planning your cosplay and try not to touch it while it's drying. Using 3D paint, you can draw on a ton of different details. The most common thing I use it for is just random little squiggles and swirly shapes to add a little bit of extra flair to a foam build. But you can actually use it to write with as well, like I did for my Wonder Woman cosplay. All of the lettering along the edges of my armor for it is Greek words and phrases, most of them direct quotes from Wonder Woman in her movie and comic books. If you actually know Greek, please don't come at me if I got these wrong, I just use Google Translate for them all. I also used a mix of actual lettering and then random swirls and dots for some of the armor for my Technoblade cosplay. I made the small dots and swirls for part of the detailing, while other parts are written in slightly messy Enderman. Kudos to you if you can actually read what any of it says, it's a bit harder to read what you've written in 3D paint than with an actual pencil. But what I'm trying to get across here is that there are a ton of different ways to use 3D puffy paint on EVA foam. So here's just a couple walkthroughs of different detailing ideas. First off, like I mentioned before, is lettering. I found it helpful to write out on the foam what I plan to draw on with the 3D paint so I know where to go and where to add the paint. In my experience, it's easier to write things down if you make the letters just a little bit bigger. Another detailing idea is just random swirls and squiggles. Squeeze the bottle while making one swirl and then let up on the pressure to end it. Then move to a new spot and start squeezing again. Repeat as necessary. Super easy way to bring it to the next level. 3D paint is also great for adding little dots and rivets. By squeezing the bottle in one place for slightly longer than you normally would, you can build up a nice rounded detail. Or just squeeze briefly in one spot before moving on to the next and you can get a lot of smaller dots. By drawing the 3D paint out in a long line and connecting little strands, you can create a cool effect of tendrils or vines, which can be great for a lot of different cosplays. And these are just a few of the things that you can do with 3D puffy paint. Experiment and see what works for you so you can create some amazing things with it. Something else that makes 3D paint great is that it's super easy to get off before it dries. If you make a mistake, just use a scrap piece of foam to wipe it off. Just remember that it will stay wet for at least another few hours, so be careful not to get it all over yourself which I may or may not have done before. Learn from my mistakes, friends, and make sure that you throw away these random pieces of foam covered in 3D paint. Like I mentioned earlier, once 3D paint dries, you can prime and paint it just like how you would the rest of the EVA foam. Flex Bond or Plasti Dip work great for priming foam builds, and acrylic paints are awesome for doing a good paint job. And if you ever have to shape your foam pieces, you don't have to worry too much about your 3D paint getting damaged. Generally, unless you're changing the shape of the foam quite a lot and putting it under a lot of tension, the 3D paint bends and moves with the foam fairly well once it's dry. Since 3D puffy paint is usually used on fabric, it tends to be pretty flexible, which is another reason why it works great on foam. And of course, you don't just have to use it on EVA foam. You can also use it for its intended purpose, which is on fabric. Admittedly, I haven't used it on fabric a ton since I avoid sewing when possible, but since I do like to avoid sewing since I kind of low-key hate it, it's great for adding details to it with 3D puffy paint because then you don't actually have to sew anything on. Just add some 3D paint and you're done. 
I have found that 3D paint does not actually work on Warbler's black art, and probably not regular Warbler, though I haven't had any, so I can't really check. It just scrapes right off, even when dry, so avoid using 3D paint on Warbler. It does, however, work great on cardboard. So if any of you make props or cosplay pieces out of cardboard, 3D fabric paint can be a great way to add some extra detail to your builds. And there you have it, a thorough walkthrough of what 3D puffy paint is, where to get it, and how to use it for all your cosplay builds, especially on EVA foam. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did, that you'll maybe subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other cosplay crafting videos for more ways to level up your cosplay game. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.